We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wonder. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sydney, and this is the Pleasant Street Farmhouse. Today I have a clean with me of our patio. I'm so ready to get our patio ready for the summer and all the beautiful weather, especially in our new house with a beautiful garden. So I'm starting by planting some flowers that I picked up at Lowe's and I just wanted to add some more color to these flower pots. I did some ranunculas in the springtime and they were absolutely stunning. I'll make sure to insert some clips here throughout the video so you can see um, the ranunculas that we had in here. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you go follow me on my Instagram page. I'll leave my Instagram handle in the um, description below because I do keep up to date with my garden and the process of all of my flowers and plants that I've got going on here. So if you're interested in seeing more of that, definitely go check out my Instagram. Here are some of the pictures of my ranunculas that I had in these pots over the spring. Like I said, they were just absolutely stunning. So of course, because they are a spring flower, I needed to put some more color back in these pots. So I went with some bright pinks and yellows and oranges and some whites for this pot. And then I'm gonna do the other one as well. They anchor either side of our patio. So I wanted something bright and inviting in those two locations. So I'm gonna finish planting these and then we'll move on to cleaning and power washing our porch. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Baby, just give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you and here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in. So give me a sign. So I had a couple of pots that I needed to get some flowers for as well. And I just wanted to put some bright colors in these pots to sit on our table as well as the coffee table area by the patio um, lounge area. So I'm just gonna finish doing that. I also had some 
succulents and things that I needed to get from inside the house, outside into good potting soil um, because they were just really not doing so hot inside, which is weird to me because usually they do pretty well. So I'm hoping in where I've got them placed now, they'll be okay and I'll have to rotate them in and out to see if maybe giving them some more sun will help them kind of grow and flourish. But I'm just going to put these um, flowers that I picked up as well in these pots and then, um, then we're ready to start cleaning. be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely we could be gazing at the stars but now it feels just like i wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me so for our patio table it is a glass top and it collected so much dirt and pollen and we just got done having a pretty big storm run through um, Kansas City so I decided to use a bunch of water and soap to get off all of that pollen and dirt and grime um, before using cleaner on it just because I felt like if I just sprayed something on there or tried to dust it off I'd be putting that pollen everywhere and it, I, I just didn't want to do that so I poured water all over the table then soap and I'm just scrubbing it all down now and then once it's all dry, I'll go over it with my Grove Collaborative um, line from Target, the multi-purpose cleaner I use on this. I guess I could have technically used the glass cleaner, um, but I don't know. I just I decided to use the multi-purpose cleaner this time, and then the table will be done, and we're going to move on to some super satisfying power washing right after this. But it feels like it will never go away until we make up. I can't be myself. I never knew how much I needed you. Mm. It should have been you. Another time, another place. I just know. I know this looks like it's just me doing this, but Hubby is being a big help. So we've got the soap down, he's scrubbing, and then we're gonna wash it again. But look how clean that table looks. Whoop, whoop. Nice. As 
seriously, I think I've rewatched that clip like 10 times. There is something so satisfying about seeing those scrub brush lines. Oh my gosh, please let me know. I'm not the only one that enjoys seeing that as well as power washing. I get so carried away with power washing. It's like a bittersweet relationship because I love it so much, but I am like, oh, I can power wash this. Oh, I'm gonna go do that now. Oh, I'm gonna do this. And then I've spent all day just power washing. Um, let me know if you're the same way down below, but it's just so satisfying to me. And I loved the way it turned out. As you can see on this side of the patio, it's really dark and dusty and dirty. Um, and the other side is nice and clean. Now I will say this, it is very apparent that we will need to restain our patio next summer. But for right now, we're dealing with what we've got and at least it's power washed and I know that it's nice and clean and free of debris. What happened? <laughs> Did you fall what in the you mud? Um, I was sliding down the slide and then I got myself muddy. Yeah? Did it hurt? Or was it funny? It was. It hurt. It hurt? Okay. <laughs> well, we'll get the hose and clean you off, okay? Guys, this is about it for me. Our patio is now up and ready for summer. I'm so excited. Again, if you're new here, my name is Sydney. This is the Pleasant Street Farmhouse. I'd love for you to stick around, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Sing along.